questions as she can as she can she had great knowledge coming in already on her own but rather to prove how much she knew to talk to the players learn the game is now talking to all the fans and you know doing it that way you know earning their respect outstanding we've hit the three minute mark on Orleski's time at TSA. Okay, family, we want to win big and save big. So here's the captain of the Savers, Daryl Jones, here to give us the play. Thanks, coach. Touchdown to win is on, with a million dollars up for grabs. But you'll be snagging some great savings, too. Load up in my offers in the Save On Foods app to get extra more rewards points and savings. Questions? Do you have any mustache tips? Dad! <laughs> Shop in store or online. The thing that's different about a Verbo vacation home? You always have the whole place to yourself. Just you and your people. I'm Curiosity. Awesome screen, super fast graphics. Can this help conquer schoolwork and destroy Joey in a battle? Can the right tech from Staples make back to school amazing? Let's find out. Welcome back to IG Field. And when you're with a company for a decade and a half, you're gonna work with a lot of different people, both on our staff and with the players. And let's hear what Cody Fajardo has to say about not working anymore with Sarah Orleski moving forward. I miss those sit downs with her, talking about more than just football, talking about my life. Sometimes people just ask you about football and you feel like, oh, I'm just a football player. With Sarah, you feel like a human being. And, and that's the best way I think to put it is she makes you really feel uh, wanted and uh, she's incredibly talented at what she does. No doubt about that. And that's a good saying right there, too. You know, watching the league on the outside for a long time, I knew I could just tell from a broadcast perspective she's really good at her job. Right. But I didn't know how good she was at her job until, until I got, got on the it. team. Yeah. I was like, holy smokes. First punt of the day for bo the Bombers with 2.40 to go, in case you're wondering how this game has gone. Mario Alford takes it at the 35, wrapped up immediately downfield. While the ball was in the air, let's get to your Advil dual action play of the game. And lots to choose from when it comes to the Bombers, but maybe none better than this. Uh, just the athleticism at the end to get to the cone. And by the way, he did touch the cone just barely. That was a touchdown. Complete vertical to get there. Great play by Rashid Bailey to end the first half and extend the lead, a lead they have not relinquished, not even close. His fourth touchdown of the season. Putting a smile on the face of many Bombers fans here tonight. He had five touchdowns last year. They'll hand it off to Hickson. Nice push ahead again from Frankie Hickson. That's just his 10th carry of the ball game. That one will go for seven yards for the riders well i i'm gonna buy a ticket to see more at 20. i i don't care who he's playing or where he's playing frankie hickson's a player i he's worth the price of admission to me Golagala near side not enough juice on it and it falls incomplete in front of shaq evans we talked to cody fajardo about frankie hickson and he says you know how you always hear that gives 110 percent yet he takes it literally <laughs> there is actually an extra 10 percent when it comes to number 20. a lot of people say they do that but cody was like no this guy does it yeah the math doesn't work out in yeah. real life but apparently with frankie hickson he can get to that extra 10. there's a completion on third down and that'll be enough to keep the riders offense on the field well hickson was away from football for a few years and then decided he wanted to get back into it. And he told us this week 
you know, how he how much how he approaches the game differently now that he's got it back as opposed to when he didn't have it or took a lot for granted prior to being away from the yeah, game. perspective, right? Yeah. I think we all got a little bit of that when we missed the season because of the pandemic. Far side Dola Gala, and that'll be intercepted on the far sideline by Rose, and he's gonna take it back down to the 25. And the Bombers defense does it again. Well, what do they got planned in there? They look like they got something going on for celebration time. It was intended for Shaq Evans. Just a little bit too many chop steps coming out of his break, and that gave the that was the indicator to a veteran corner in Winston Rose, who's now going to want to be zooming us every week. <laughs> Saskatchewan is challenging the previous play for defensive pass interference. The play will be reviewed. Well, it would might be. as well try it. Yeah, I was going to say, is it on? Right there, kind of reaching around him. We'll have to get another. We'll have to get another look at it. Well, if it's the challenge is pass interference, not illegal contact, so it has to be where the ball was thrown, yeah. which was to Shaq Evans. Little contact, little contact there. Ooh. Well, you know, here's what I would say about that one and the one that they did overturn. I'd rather they not throw the flag for those. Just let that that type let, of play play out. Let that yeah. kind of thing happen. And not necessarily these two teams or these two plays in particular, but that kind of thing. You know, I, I know within the standard you can find it. But I just. We need to lower the amount of penalty flags. And you let that little stuff go. Let's find out what the call is on the field. After review. The ruling on the field stands. Saskatchewan has charged their final timeout. Yeah, I think in fairness, what Craig Dickinson was looking at was, first of all, it's desperate, you know, just might Nothing as well, to lose. Nothing yeah. to lose. But secondly, it, it was beyond five yards. And you're really, as a DB, only supposed to contact at five yards. But again, there's going to be bumping and pushing and hand fighting and things down the field. That's, that's part of the game. Another possession for the Bombers, and it's Augustine right up the middle. You know, the one thing about we working with Sarah all the years and driving to, the, to and from the park, and whenever anyone in the car or in a meeting or wherever we were would talk about the weather, boy, she, her ears per, <laughs> per, <laughs> her, her ears would perk up. What did you say about the weather? What, what's the weather going to be down there? And it's been, you know, all these years and the different you know, we play football in any weather pretty much unless there's lightning in the area. And man, I remember many, many a game where she's been freezing on the sideline. Good life, eh? Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> all protected in the booth. Remember back in Guelph with <laughs> Eastern semifinal and the wind is howling through there. And It's just <laughs> freezing cold. But hey, not everybody can be sideline reporter in this game, sir. <laughs> Always on point when it came to weather. Why would you ever <laughs> want to give up that sweet gig, you know? It's amazing. We'll tuck it back into the belly of Augustine. Right now, the Bombers with 47 points. That's a third most points ever scored in a banjo bowl battle of alberta around the corner so don't don't go anywhere you're settled in you got your beverages you got all your snacks you're we're just we're we got another third to go i was gonna say you're talking about me in 45 minutes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly much, right? locking in to give watch me the beverages give me the snacks let's watch the battle of alberta which for that elusive home victory. Brown to his right, to the end zone, touchdown for good measure. Don't show his 10th of the season, tying a Bombers rookie record. 53-20 Winnipeg on top. And 
It's one of those games, and Hardrick been carrying around a couple of guys with touchdowns. First career passing touchdown for that man, number six in blue, and a nice throw to show. Yeah, it really was. Pulling from the Zach Kolaros playbook, throwing on the run, getting outside. Number 10 for Dalton Schoen ties a bomber record. Congratulations. You got to go back to 1951. Neil Armstrong, not that Neil Armstrong. <laughs> 51, 1951, the last bomber rookie to have 10 touchdowns in a season. And the bombers put 50 plus on the board. Banjo Bowl record is 55. Yeah, I was in that one. I don't want to bring it up. Let's not bring it up. Are you sure? Up. Yeah, I think I was in that one. Let's not bring that one up. Anyway, 54 for Winnipeg here tonight. I just still go back to when the Riders were marching when it was third and one, and they rolled yes, Fajardo out, turned it over late in the quarter. Winnipeg marched down the field, and it was pretty much good night at that point. Have not been stopped since. Yeah, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers now... Improved to 12 and 1 on the season. Defending back to back champion. They'd already clinched They'd a playoff spot. Clinched a playoff spot already. And I know the stats guys are going to be working on when first in the division is and home field in the final is clinched. That can't be far away either. But. Man, this 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 juggernaut keeps rolling. They're seven and zero on the road. Not that that'll necessarily matter until maybe the Great Cup. But now they're seven and zero against the West as well. Nobody in the division has touched them yet. Calgary's come close. These Riders have come close. But Ottawa the came close early in the year. Found a way. Some of the Montreal Wets are saying, "Look at us! <laughs> Look at us!" <laughs> yeah. They came out here and won a won a tight one at IG Field. One that. The Bombers put themselves in a position to win. Well, you know, it's funny you say that because if you're Montreal, you are saying that. Yeah. And they're fighting for a playoff spot. And you're saying, we beat that team. That 12-1 and one team over there, we beat them. You know, and it, it, would, it would be a great cup matchup for Montreal to, to get there. They've got a lot of work to do. But I just, man, this, this Bomber team... Yet another win in a different way. Well, we, we said their last two victories by a combined four points. Two points, two points. Today, not the case. A 34-point victory is their most lopsided advantage of the entire season as the crowd at IG Field will come to the feet to cheer home their Winnipeg Blue Bombers. And... That standing ovation is partly for the team, partly for Michael O'Shea, and partly for our Sarah Orleski in her last game tonight. 30,000 at halftime on their feet for Sarah as well. As it was a banjo bowl beat down for the Bombers. And they remain the hunted in the Canadian Football League and the Riders Go back to the drawing board for us. Let's send it, get emotional here. Let's send it down one last time to our own Sarah Orleski. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this has been so overwhelming. I, um, I'm trying my best to hold it together here <laughs> for it, the appreciation that I have for everybody. This, as I said, it's such a labor of love for me with this league, with everyone, but everyone has been so kind. And George Hopkins, the equipment manager for the Calgary St. Peters, asked me last week, what are you going to miss most? And I said the people, because it's always um, it's always about the people, whether it be players and fans or a fantastic crew. They're just the best. <laughs> so much love to everybody. Thank you so much. And I'm so incredibly humbled by all of this. And that's enough about me. Okay. <laughs> of course Jeez, it is. Enough that's, about me. <laughs> that's exactly how Sarah would wrap it up. As she covers her final game with TSN and it's been an honor. Yeah, it's been an honor and she is uh, this is the best compliment I could give anyone involved with this league. She's been a great teammate for all these years.
On behalf of our crew today and every other crew member over the past 14 years, it's my honor to say thank you to Sarah Orleski for being one of the best to ever do it. Let's send it back to our panel.